Brotherhood. Francis Bean. <laughs> Never would I expect the darkness of the body itself. Soapy as hell. It's got a super great aggressive head. Noted. It smells like Francis mm. Bean the one time I was next to her <laughs> at the airport. Love you, Francis. It's hardcore. You yes. Hardcore <laughs> coffee drinkers. It's yeah. bitter. It, this is going to get your ass out of bed, get you moving, yeah. get you on with your day. It's not crazy bad for me. It lingers. Mm -hmm. um, I can't get rid of it. It's for the rigid, <laughs> for sure. Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo, Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here for a dark beer. And today we have some booze, brothers in Vista, California. We have Ooh. Francis Bean. It is a 5% American stout. Which is interesting because American stouts are, are known for being uh, a lot more body, thicker, sweeter like a, a big heavy beer like american stouts are considered especially imperial american stouts are considered the heaviest beers we have a five percent one <laughs> <laughs> i know which yeah. this I, I as far as i can remember this is our lowest abv yes percentage beer that we've ever reviewed yeah 5.5 5 was the, the lowest so this right. is a five and uh i've been to Bruce booze brothers a couple times which i mm -hmm. like the brewery i love i love the venue um and we saw this at San Diego Wine and Beer and had to grab it. I, this is actually, um, I think, a limited edition from what I looked up. We both tried to look up stuff and couldn't find yeah, it nothing. Was, right. We got basically nothing. So it's going to be a pretty short review with yes. limited resources. But right. uh, we're giving to you what we could yeah, as far as with. yeah, as far as all the tastes and textures and finish and everything, we might be one of the first ones to do this because we have we couldn't find anything on this beer. I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Bruce Brothers Francis Bean Five Percent American Stout. It's American Stout with coffee and vanilla, which we love coffee and vanilla. Right. And that's one reason why I picked it up. I know Bruce Brothers. I like Bruce Brothers, and when I saw this, I'd never heard of it. And so vanilla and coffee. I'm gonna. I'm always gonna pick up that beer. Always. Yeah. And I am from Chicago, the home of the OG Blues Brothers. So how could I not have a connection with the Blues, Blues Brothers, Brothers, right? Yeah. So just a brief, what we could find history on the brewery itself, uh, began in a garage. Like Imagine always. Imagine that. Yeah. In 2008, when two brothers, not the Blues Brothers, two brothers, David and Donnie, I dated Donnie. David and Donnie. You guys, Donnie sounds like from Chicago, right? They're trouble. <laughs> Danny. They are trouble. And David I hope and Donnie. you are not watching. <laughs> David and Donnie. <laughs> yeah, I dated a Donnie, and the brothers were Johnny and Polly, and they're all bad. <laughs> anyway, David and Donnie Firth was their last name. Firth. Discovered that beer was not only something that you drank, but something you could brew yourself. Yeah. Which is the moment you realize that it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, the brewing hobby quickly grew to an obsession, and as time wore on, it threatened to take over their lives <laughs> as well as their garage. And in 2013, the brothers relocated their brewery to uh, Progress Street in Vista and expanded their operations to the neighboring suites. So that brings us to 2017. Yeah, uh, 2017, uh, they opened the space right next door. Mm -hmm. um, and I've taken you there one time. Yes. Um, you didn't get to see the space. They kind of quarantine off the space, but when they do open it up, which I've been um, right next, it's literally share a wall. Mm -hmm. They have weddings. They have all kind of events there. It's actually really nice. Reclaim wood. Like yeah. they, they, they do just a, an amazing job there. Um, um, they have a whole packaging of the can, self-distribution, um, all those kind of things. And then in 2020, they opened an Oceanside, which I haven't been to that, that yes. location yet, but I've seen pictures. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I heard the whole craft brew scene is really progressing there. Yeah. Oceanside is kind of the last little uh, space here in North County, San Diego um, where um, before you hit, hit Camp Pendleton in Orange County um, it was kind of the last little space where uh, 
it's kind of was well, kind of old and need needed to be revitalized yeah, and, and all these breweries are going in there revitalizing a1a pacific coast highway mm -hmm. through there and it's getting busier and busier yeah. now yeah a lot of breweries there and city councils love that when there's yes. an area that needs a facelift and revitalization they are any business that wants to come in there and yeah. make it better they just completely give yeah. all their support to those businesses as long as they're in good faith and you know going to generate business and uh growth in the economy they support those businesses yeah in full force so yeah. if you're one of those that are considering that area go for it go big and breweries are definitely yeah um uh, capitalizing on it yeah, yeah. See, uh, uh capitalizing on that opportunity and yeah. Yeah, because where, where Booze Brothers is in Vista, it's an industrial park, and I took you there, and I remember the first time going there, like from the outside, it looks like a rundown little strip, not a strip mall, but like a little strip industrial space, and when you walk in, it's freaking amazing. I mean, it's, it's they, they, they have reclaimed wood walls, and, and, yeah. and, and they have a little outside space, they have bands play outside, like, I know. and then there was a bar outside too. It's like super nice, it so, is. so I really like it. The only thing I don't like about Booze Brothers is they just have their beers, and for us that like dark beers, they might have one dark beer on. Mm -hmm. So when we go there, we literally went the one time, I we had one beer and we left because they didn't exactly. have any more dark beers and I wish uh, places like Booze Brothers if they're going to have one dark they bring in offer others others that are around the area exactly. for dark so at least you have keep four your, or five darks keep your people there yes you're gonna have people drinking your beer drinking others yes. whatever you're generating revenue you're generating a crowd yes and those people are spreading the word on their experience there so yeah, we have a hard time with dark beers, especially here in San Diego, um, where you'll go into almost any brewery and they'll have 10 different IPAs. So if you're an IPA lover, you have 10 different choices. We go in, there's one choice, and that's it. So the places we decide to go, we want more choices so mm -hmm. we can stay and hang out and enjoy ourselves and not be running around to different places. We, no one wants to do that. Right. So it'd be nice if a lot of these places would have more dark beers for us dark beer lovers so exactly yeah so. well said noted <laughs> yes take notes yeah. and move them on up the ladder if yeah. you're not the person in charge yeah you know move yeah. it on up the ladder to who is in charge yeah. and let that message be known more dark beer for sure <laughs> so you ready to try it we are ready yeah let's do it yes Woo. yeah okay. i'll let you pour this one i'm, I'm actually anxious for this one because i do like uh the beers i've tried i think i've had two different booze brother beers um over probably like the last four years okay. and i actually like them they're not um they're not overpowering mm -hmm. or really uh excel in certain areas they're just really <laughs> good beers so um good. Uh, like Janet said, five percent. This is the this is the lowest ABV we've done. It for sure is. But that looks super dark. It looks great for a five percent. It's got super great aggressive head. Yeah. I already get some aroma. Let me give you a little yeah. bit more. Thank you. Oh, Ooh. hello. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Wipe that one down. Um, look how light the head is, though. Which I would expect from a five percent. But when you poured it, it poured pretty dark, it really almost like did. an eight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Signs of a well-brewed beer. Yeah, it poured and really dark. I'm getting already. I don't want to. I don't want to seep into the aroma, but it is. It is on full force. Yeah, we've talked about this before. When you first pop the can and we pour it, a lot of times we don't get aroma. When you do, I'm with you. I'm getting a coffee aroma. I know already, and I, you can't help but appreciate that. Right. Especially considering the ABV. Right, and this is called Francis Bean, which from what we looked at. And what you found out, which I had no idea, I thought really? it was, I thought it was a certain kind of bean because we get so many coffee beers. Maybe it was a certain kind of bean in in in, uh, in Ethiopia or Madagascar. So I don't know. But Francis Bean is Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's daughter. Yeah. So obviously they're uh, Nirvana fans or something. Yeah. That's why they named it Francis Bean. But right. we're already smelling coffee. So what do you what do you think about appearance? Um, very overly impressive for a 5%. <laughs> for like, a 5, it looks amazing. Never would I expect the darkness of the body itself. 
a, a beautiful head that has soapy as hell. Look how soapy, like yeah. remarkable lacing. Like it just looks so like soapy to me. All breweries take note of this. Look at that. This is a this is a five yeah. percent ABV. Yeah, that's pretty impressive for a five. It really is. So and it's not dissipating much at all. No. Yeah. I cannot help but give a, a well-deserved five percent on five. appearance. Yeah. Please don't dip below. No, I got I for for a five percent. I have to give this a five, like you. Like I want to go lower, but I can't. It's a five percent, and it looks like an eight or a nine. It's a well-deserved right? five. Yes, it's a well-deserved five for a Definitely. five percent. It looks really impressive. And when you poured it, it was dark. Yes. For 5%, it was really dark. The 5.5s and the 6 we've had before were pretty light. Yeah. This poured dark. So yes. uh, to the aroma, which okay. we got a little bit of already. Here we go. And I got a strong coffee scent when you poured it. So what are you getting? Um, I do get the, uh, the coffee aroma, but it's a bitter coffee. Uh, it, uh, no, uh, but it's like an espresso. Okay. But they don't really mention. Well, we no. don't. We don't have much to go off of here. Right. I, it, it just says coffee <laughs> and vanilla, so it could be any kind of coffee, right? Exactly. Um, oh, I like it. I know. It's not a bitter. It's espresso. not. No, it's just a straightforward dark oh, roast. Oh, that smells good. Dark roast bittering on espresso. Wow. See, I don't think it smells bitter at all. It smells like Frances mm. Bean the one time I was next to her at the airport. <laughs> smells Love you, Frances. Wow, it smells really good. I like it. I get a little bit of smokiness too, though. Do you get smokiness? I don't, and okay. I have a nose for smokiness like yeah, I get no a little other. Smokiness. Um, Just a little bit, but it's it's very coffee, and I like the coffee flavor. I like it. This is crazy for a five. It is. I'm what are, excited. What are you I'm going to dip down to a 4.5, okay. um, only for the fact that it's it's um, it's hard to pinpoint the aromas. Like, it's a nice, clean aroma. Uh, I do get the coffee notes. Uh, it smells pretty rich. It smells way more than anything you would expect of a 5% American stout, but it's a vague. Yeah. Aroma. So I can't really, on a beer review, I want to give you like specifics and I can't quite do that on this category. So I'm yeah. at a 4.5. Yeah. American stouts are the strongest stouts. Um, they use the strongest yeast. They use this kind of the sweetest caramel um, yeast and things like that. Most of the time they'll say, they'll say American stout or something. This is... For a five percent, this smells like an American stout. Like it's strong, it's sweet, not too sweet, but you get I get a strong coffee flavor, and it's good. It smells good for a five percent. I'm with you. I give it a four point five. Like I can't That's believe great. I know that it's that these two categories so far it's this good, I know. right? And the lacy, like it's just sticky. I know like, it's, it stills there. I've not even rolled mine since mm. the intro, and it is still yeah. hanging on. Yeah, I'm not getting much vanilla yet, but I'm getting the coffee, which I love yes. in my beers. I love the coffee, so taste. Here we go. Here we go, Janet. Give it did a you, taste. Did you document your aroma? Yep, I gave it 4.5. Yep. Here we go. 4.5. Yep. We both we're both right on track with this one so far. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. It's definitely a light taste. It's the five percent coming, coming through okay. on the taste. Um, what flavors are you getting though? I get coffee. Mm -hmm. It's bitter coffee. I don't get strong any bitter. Um, no, slight bitter. Okay. Yeah. Not bitterness to the point that you would not like it, I think, right. based on what I know you like. Yeah. Um, it's bitter coffee, but very little sweetness coming through. It's just, it's a, the taste is so more straightforward than oh, yeah. the aroma. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, that's coffee, straight coffee. No. no nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah. Straight up. Straight coffee. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and you get you get the five percent. It could be a little heavier than five, but it's pretty much light. But it is straight coffee, no sweetness. It's it's a tiny bit bitter. It's the bitter, but it's not like horribly bitter exactly. that we've gotten before. Yeah, you're, you're you're spot on, but it's coffee. 
it's straight coffee. Like when I've had coffee before I've ever tried coffee with nothing in it, no sweetener, no cream, no nothing. Yeah. Cold coffee. Yes. This is what yes. I would imagine cold coffee tasting like, right? Yes, yes. That's refrigerated, like cold yes. enough to be refrigerated. Yes. Yeah, so what, yeah. Do, you, what do you give it taste? You know, I don't, this one's hard for me because I'm not a coffee drinker, but. Yeah. Well, your palate, Still. what do you like? What I mean, that's why people watch this channel. Right. What, what you like and what you don't like and what flavors you get. Still considering that this is an alcoholic drink. This is a beer. It's a 5% ABV, right. which is still more than your traditional Miller Light, uh, Coors Light, Michelob oh, yeah. Light, Double. whatever, you know, whatever you drink. Yeah. This still brings more to the table than those traditional oh, yeah. beers. It yeah. still has more body, more flavor, more complexity. Um, if you like coffee, again. Straight coffee, black coffee. We talk about black coffee. introductory beers. If you're not sure on dark beers, you wanna like venture off into the dark beer category. I think this is a great beer. Yeah. Um, I prefer more sweetness, um, more layered flavors, but it's a pretty solid, low level ABV beer. So I'm gonna give it, um, a 3.5. Okay. Wow, above average. Yeah. Yeah. I gave it a two only because it's not my flavors. It's not yeah. sweet at all. Yeah. But it's like you just said, and we were talking about, if you like black coffee, just straight black coffee, this is the beer. This literally reminds me of straight black coffee. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of bitterness. It's not as bitter as an espresso which you get a lot. It is a little bitter, but that's it. It's not sweet at all. It's a straight black coffee. So that's not my palate. I want some little vanilla in there. I want some sweetness, which I thought we'd get, mm -hmm. but we're not getting it. So I can't quite give it an average for my palate. Now I think if you like straight black coffee, you'd freaking love this beer. But for my so. palate, I have to give it below average. I give it a two on taste just because it's straight black coffee. It's not sweet, it's not vanilla. I don't get any of that. I just get straight black coffee. It is. Which I wish I almost would have named it that, but it is coffee. It is. It's just not sweet at all. It's just yeah. straight black coffee. It's it's hardcore. You yes. Hardcore <laughs> coffee drinkers. It's yeah. bitter. It, this is going to get your ass out of bed, get you yeah. moving, get you on with your day, but it mm -hmm. is, it's for the rigid, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, and it seems like it's high in caffeine. Like, it, it tastes like a high caffeine coffee, straight black coffee. Yes. Yeah, even though the ABV is five, it tastes like it has a lot of caffeine in it. I agree. It, right? Yes. Yeah. So what do you think about texture? It's a 5%. Um, this, I like I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure fairly confident that this is our first 5% yes. we've had. We reviewed, yes. A five and a half right. or a six. I don't think we've even had a 5% that we I did review. I don't know. We never buy anything below, below exactly. seven or eight. Every now and then we'll find one, you know, but we've never had one five. I don't think we have either. So considering that, um, the texture is as good, if not better than some six or seven so i almost have to agree like it's you know there's not um there's not a lot of carbonation but as far as uh the the mouthfeel and the coating like it's it's a it's a substantial you know pretty light to medium bodied beer for, considering the five percent for five percent i agree yeah, yeah so i give it i give it a four so did i yeah. I, so I just wrote down, like, for a 5%, I'll give this a 4, because I would almost guess this was a 6, 6.5. Yeah. Maybe not quite a 7, but I wouldn't have never guessed this was a 5. Exactly. Like, it's it's a little watery, but not much. I mean, it's 5%, exactly. and it, it has a lot of flavor. It has nice body, like you said, kind of that medium body. Mm -hmm. Not very heavy at all, but it, it, I wouldn't have guessed this was a 5. Bordering right? light to medium. Yes. Yeah, it's on that edge, you know, exactly. trying to decide what it wants to be. <laughs> yeah, so we both gave it a four. So what about the finish? The finish, um, it's definitely a bitter finish. Uh, the more I drink it, the more the beer warms to room temperature. 
the finish comes more pronounced, which is not in its favor, to my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I don't love, I don't love bitterness and dark beers. I don't think that they are meant to be bitter on yeah. the end. Yeah, especially um, dark beer. People love to associate dark beers with warm weather and flavor like cinnamon and vanilla and maple and bourbon and all these wonderful things. And none of those things ever end in a bitter finish. Yeah. So I don't, I just don't know how that works into the mix. And as a baker, I don't know how that works into the mix. Never would I want to bake anything dark that ends with a bitter finish. They just, yeah. they fight each other. They, um, they go head to head. They are not complimentary. So I don't quite get where that comes into the mix, but this mm -hmm. is an extremely bitter beer. Yeah. Um, it's a dry finish, but the bitterness really uh, dominates, you know, the overall finish. So I'm gonna go with a 3.5. I don't, no, I don't, good. I don't love the finish. Yeah, I give it a two. I give it exactly what I give the taste because it's like you said, it's bitter. It lingers. Mm -hmm. um, I can get rid of it. This is a straight coffee beer. Like it's black coffee. I've never drank a beer that's like this much black coffee. It's just straight black coffee. It like, is. like I want to put a little cream in it. I want to <laughs> put a couple backs of stevia in it and sweeten it up like a coffee. That's mm -hmm. what I want to do. It, it tastes like a coffee that you just left out and got cold and then you went to drink it. It's straight black coffee. That's yes, what it is. I so, the, so the finish is bitter. It's funny because we get a lot of bitter beers if you watch our channel and I hate bitter. It's not crazy bad for me I it's know. bitter but it's not that bad it's just that coffee black coffee bitter that's all it is like man if it had a little bit of sweetness to it it'd be i think this would be a great coffee based beer like i know to do a lot with it for coffee beers we always think that about yeah. there's so many beers that like you have a, an amazing start mm -hmm. but if you could just tweak them and massage yeah. them and maneuver them and you know, uh, do the casks? Is that the the proper Cask thing? Just variations of this. The beer smaller case. versions where you can yeah. taste test amongst your yeah. your your people and your crowd and your right. followers. Like, l yeah. let them give feedback. Because obviously, people will like this. Because I know a lot of people that like just straight black coffee. They like espresso, which mm -hmm. is even more bitter, but they like straight black coffee, which they'd love this beer. But if you could do variations of this beer to make it sweeter, I don't taste any vanilla. It says it has vanilla in it. I don't mm -hmm. taste any vanilla. So to add some vanilla or or chocolate or um, anything, you yes. know, that sweetens it up, I think it'd be great. But yeah, I had to give it a two because it's just like taste. It's bitter. It's straight black coffee. So, so Janet, what do you give booze, brother? Francis Bean. <laughs> What's your total? My total is a 4.1 out of 5.0, which wow. That's I, good. I'm going to say I was a little generous with this one. But the appearance and the aroma were great. Like literally for a five, they we were. both th thought they were amazing. But I also can say, um, you know, I want to be completely upfront and transparent as the review went on and the beer warmed and the lingering taste became uh, you know more forthcoming yeah more pronounced i you know i i actually liked it less and less yeah. so yeah it's it's very bitter and like jason said all along it's a straight yeah just straight black coffee straight coffee yeah you know no frills yeah yeah just straight black coffee, coffee. drink which yeah. If I were a coffee drinker, that's certainly not what I would order. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it started okay. And then as I'm going on, I'm kind of liking it less and less. But overall, yeah. my my score was a 4.1 out of 5. 5. Out of 5. 5.0. Five. <laughs> 5. Yeah. I gave it a 3.5. So I gave it above average too. And obviously I gave it a 2 on the taste and a 2 on the finish because it's just not my palate. But the appearance, as far as the appearance and the aroma, it was amazing. For a 5%, For sure. you could have fooled me. Um, but obviously, I don't like bitter. And this is a straight black coffee beer. It, it 
tastes like straight black coffee. So yes. a lot of people love that, and I think you would love this beer. So if you're watching this review and you love straight black coffee with no cream, no sugar, anything like that, buy this beer. I think you would love it. Yeah, it has a up. lot of a lot of flavor to it. For five percent, it has a lot of straight black coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's bitter, but it's not the bad bitter. It's just it's a little bit of bitter. It lingers a lot. There's no sweetness to this beer at all. So, right. Right. So Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.8. So almost a four for a beer that we're not crazy about the taste, but for a 5%, we were very impressed with the appearance, the head, the lacing, the carbonation, the aroma. A lot of it was really good. Um, even yes. the texture for a 5%, that's where our scores, I think, yeah. are higher. Because in three of the categories, it excels. For sure. Yeah. It's just the taste and the finish yeah. is not our palates. Yeah, they knocked a lot of the park out of for a five percent yes. beer. Oh yeah. Um, I can only assume that they, the name is is, I'm assuming they are Nirvana fans. Yeah. Whether it's Kurt Cobain, Courtney Love, they love the name Francis Grunge. Bean, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. I love my child dearly. So if it's a tribute to mm -hmm. Francis Bean, like that's cool. I would like. Uh, I would like to know where they how they arrived on the name or you know I like I like history I yeah like, there's no information on this exactly beer at all. Yeah. so like give us something yeah um, <laughs> let us know how you came up with this or the idea for this let us know yeah. who your head brewer is give us something uh, anyway overall it was a good beer and for people who are like just straight up coffee lovers give to me straight up no frills yeah. This is your beer. Yeah. Um, but for Jason and I, we like the sweeter components. Yeah, we'd love to see a Francis being 2.0 or 3.0 or something <laughs> that would add some sweetness to it because I think this beer has a lot of attributes, especially for a 5%. Uh, I think um, it's just a great, well brewed beer. It's just not our flavors. But yeah. um, three of the five categories we just love. So anyway, Gumbo Mud Review is at 3.8 for Francis Bean oh, from yeah. Booze Brothers there in Vista. So yes. love Booze Brothers. Check out Booze Brothers. Check out all their beers. Um, visit there if you can, even the one in Oceanside. I know the one in Vista, they have bands on the weekends. Um, it's a, a venue where you can have parties, you can have anniversaries, you can have birthdays, oh, yeah. you can have weddings. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's just a great place. So check out Booze Brothers there in Vista and um, their new location there in Oceanside. So. And don't forget to send us an invite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> right. we'll show up. Yeah, exactly. So thank you guys for watching this review and click the like and share button and share it with everyone and click the subscribe button for more Dark Beer Reviews. And we are on Instagram. It's Gumbo Mud, Gumbo, M-U-D-D. And we always put out our latest releases of our YouTube videos along with a little extra special content for our subscribers. Yeah. So uh, follow us on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the next review. Thank you. Bye. Bye.